what I've tried to do is to recreate the way the house looked at the time and that, that, that a typical middle class family would have, would have decorated. And the time was the 1950s, the time when Dennis Johnson was born and has since remained. Well, as far as furniture and decor go, it was the post-war years when materials such as fiberglass, ceramic, and vinyl were gaining in popularity, and the form was, well, toward the abstract and the sparse. And that was uh, a very characteristic uh, hallmark of the furniture of that period, was for it to be on, uh, on short legs off the floor, that with clean, simple lines, it originated uh, in the, the Scandinavian countries, and a lot of American uh, furniture companies uh, utilized uh, some of the principles. Dennis Johnson's home is full of items that, well, are more form than function. Things such as coat hangers and ashtrays. I never have smoke, but I like the aesthetic look of the ashtrays. And uh, this particular one here is one of the first objects that I collected. And and just where do you find things or knickknacks of the 1950s? Well, a number of thrift stores, uh, used furniture stores, uh, some antique shops. Not that much from garage sales. I don't find that to be a very productive use of time. Dennis says when friends and neighbors come over, they're taken back a bit. Taken back to the beginning of the early modern era, where such words as keen were in. The initial response is that it's a time warp. Uh, particularly people that, that are old enough to remember growing up from that period or living in that period. Some people maybe think it's a little wacky looking, but I like it. Well, opinions are like clock faces. Everyone's different. But one thing's for sure, this place is immaculate. And Dennis sees that it stays that way with the help of his 1952 Hoover. But it's not all work and no play. After a cool beverage made with ice crushed and, yeah, you got it, a 1950s ice crusher, Dennis can chill out and take it all in. From the 1950s, Bill Sherman, WAFB News.